Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So, uh, I'm trying to be quiet. JJ's napping right now. I started editing my vlog for Friday um, last night and just realized how beat up I look <laughs> in all these videos that I'm taking. Um, it's because it's hard to be a mom. It's hard to just juggle everything. Um, but still, I just... I was in what my friends and I call my mom uniform for every single video, which is a black t-shirt or tank top and black Lulu's. I only buy the uh, Align pant from Lululemon and they're amazing and super soft and really comfortable, which is why I wear them every day. Um, but I just, I, I only have black Lulu pants pretty much and then black t-shirts or tank tops or long sleeves. It's just like I'm in like black from head to toe with either, you know, Nikes or Adidas or whatever tennis shoe on. So um, it looks like I'm wearing the same outfit every day that I video this week, but I really wasn't. It was a different outfit, just same kind of clothes. Um, and then I realized <laughs> I just can't even post these because I'm just so embarrassed at myself. Um, I remember, I don't know, a couple months ago, I was in downtown Danville with my husband and uh, JJ, and I remember seeing this mom that just looked, she just looked very disheveled, and she had a few little kids with her, and so I just looked at her and thought, like, oh my gosh, I feel for her. I know what that seems like, what that feels like, because it's hard. Um to make yourself look presentable when you leave the house because you're dealing with so much and getting your kid ready or kids ready. Um, so, but I told myself and my husband, please don't let me get to that point. But little did I know I was already at that point. <laughs> I just needed to start taking videos of myself to see what I look like. So anyways, I decided to scrap the original vlog I was going to post Friday because I just want to somehow get my life a little bit in order even if it's I'm still wearing my black um mom uniform um at least my hair and makeup will be done or a little bit more I'll put a little bit more effort into it um so anyways I just wanted to do a review today on this straightener that I bought I haven't even opened it yet um but it's the GHD Platinum Plus and I actually got this when I was in Santa Barbara um I've seen it for a while now. I wanted to buy it last year, but it's like $249 or something. It's just so expensive and I just couldn't um, wrap my mind around spending that much money on a straightener. I've had my Chi straightener forever. I had a Chi before I had the current one that I have, um, but I just noticed that, I don't know if my hair got wavier after I had JJ or what, but if I let it air dry, um, it's wavy and then it like won't, if I try and straighten it the next day, it still has a random little kinks in it and stuff. It's just not, um, it just doesn't do anything for me. So unless I take a shower that night, blow dry my hair that night, which would wake JJ up because I can only shower when he goes down, um, blow dry my hair, then I straighten it. And I'm just exhausted and I don't have the time or want to do that. So I let it air dry and then I throw it in a, in a bun or ponytail the next day. And I look like this every day, but with black on. So um, anyways, my friend is an esthetician. She was um, telling me about her straightener and she's like, do you want me to get you one while you're down here in Santa Barbara? Um, I can get it at a discount because I'm I have my license. I'm, you know, an esthetician. So I was like, oh my gosh, that's the straightener I've been wanting. Yes, I want to get it. So she got this for me for $179 instead of $249. Um, and with tax and everything, it saved me almost $100. So I'm super excited to try this out. Um, you know, on the back, it talks about how, um, let me see, the ultra gloss coating because of the plates. It's instant frizz free styling and 20% more shine. I don't care about any of that stuff. I like how it says, has a sleek design and rounder barrel for snag free styling because my hair would get caught in my Chi straightener. Um, and also it gives you peace of mind because if you don't use it for at least 30 minutes, then um, it turns off automatically. So when you leave the house, which I do 
frantic sometimes or just in a hurry, um, just knowing that my straightener, even if I left it plugged in, it turns off automatically in 30 minutes. I thought that was pretty cool. Um, it has a nine foot cord and a three year warranty. So anyways, um, let me open this thing. I'm sitting up in my room right now because it has better lighting, I think, and a place for me to sit at this little vanity. So um, yeah, when you open it, this is what it looks like. I think you can get it in black or white. I wanted a white one. Um, I told my friend Katie and they had like two left. I guess the white one sells out a little bit faster, but, and again, you can find this on Amazon or Sephora um, website, but uh, again, it's like $2.49. So I would either wait until Black Friday to see if it goes on sale to buy it, or you can um, find a friend that can buy it for you at a cheaper discounted rate. So, okay, let me open it really quick and plug this bad boy in. It's always fun to see the different packaging. They really strap it in here. Anyways, I'm gonna do this whole review and watch it like <laughs> not work or turn out really good and then it's just all the waste, but at least you'll know it's not worth the money, right? Um, but yeah, like I said, I just couldn't post the videos I was originally going to post. I was going to um, show you guys some of the activities that JJ and I do each week through the town of Danville. There's a magazine or newsletter type thing. It looks like a little magazine that comes out every few months for our town. And I didn't know this. A friend told me, but you can sign up for classes um, in this book or you just look through the book to see the schedule and there's like senior citizen classes. There's classes for couples like who want to take dance lessons or if someone wants to take yoga class or a cooking class, but then they have stuff for toddlers and JJ's in the 18 month. I really can't get this thing off the 18 month to three year old classes and they have so many different options, but I signed him up for, um, an art class and a gymnastics class. Um, gymnastics is literally just him sprinting around, you'll see, in an open area. I'll film next week when I don't look so haggard in all the videos. I'm still going to be in my uniform, but I'm my hair hopefully will look better, my hair and face. Um, I think this is just a little protective sleeve that they give you, which is cool. It's rubber. I don't know if you can see that. Um, for when it's hot and then you need to pack it up. That actually happened to me a lot when I spent time getting ready. I remember, um, you know, wanting to put my straightener in my bag that I was packing for a trip, but I just used it and it's too hot to put in um, my bag because I don't want to burn my stuff. But this is really cool, actually, this little thing it comes with. Okay, let me plug it in. Ooh, hear that little noise? There's a little power button inside here that you press. That's a little sound thing. That's kind of cool. It's the little things, guys. And this thing is now lit up. It's not flashing. And it made a loud noise, so I'm assuming it's heated. And that took 10 seconds. Ooh, let the main out. Um... Again, this is my hair. I washed it last night and it's, um, I just let it air dry. I shouldn't say that I don't care about, um, when it says on the box, like, helps promote shine or helps, um, not damage your hair or helps color stay or whatever, but I just don't, <laughs> I get my hair cut like once a year. I don't get my hair cut a lot and I get it maybe highlighted once a year too. I just don't, maybe I should spend more time on grooming and uh, self care maintenance upkeep, um, but I don't. So let's see, oh, it's nice and tangled. I don't, even know if I, I don't even know if I brush my hair every day. It's, uh, yeah, I could probably use a highlight. But when your hair is always up in a bun, you just don't notice those things. 
you can see our horrible closet doors back there. They're broken. There's three panels actually. And um, we ordered new ones, mirrored ones on Home Depot, which I'm super excited about. And uh, can't get a hold of the installer to come install them. So that's a new, another project, another thing to mark off my list. So I have, can you even see this? I have a ton of hair. It's not as long as it normally is, but it's thick. There's a lot of it and I don't have, I don't always have the time to do it. So let's see. I have this vanity thing up in my room. That's really cool actually. And um, wow, it's super smooth going down, you guys. It really doesn't snag your hair at all. But anyways, I have a little vanity thing with a mirror. So I'll just be staring at the mirror the whole time trying to do this. Please don't judge me if you straighten your hair, use your straightener differently than I do because I'm not the girliest girl. I don't do this all the time. This isn't a this isn't a video on how to do your hair or makeup or anything cuz I would never try and teach anybody that. That's not my not my forte. If anything, I would hire some professional to come do my makeup and you guys could learn from her. Cuz this mom can't not teach you how to do that stuff. Wow, that's like it looks really good, you guys. Like it's getting all the kinks out. I have this horrible calic right here that just never going to go away. Um, it's very, very hot, but it's seriously, you have to like kind of go slow going down because it's, um, it's so smooth that it just like slips right through. Um, let's see. Nice sideburn area down here. You guys, if I, wow, I actually really, really like this. Um, cause seriously, my cheese straightener, it just doesn't, it doesn't do this. If I try and straighten it, like I said, there's still bumps and waves in it. If my hair was kinked at all, then it's just, there's no, I can't get it straight like this. Ugh. Maybe I can start looking a little bit more presentable every day, you guys. To me, I feel like, and I might have already said this, but I have pregnancy slash mom brain. Um, I feel like if you put a little effort into your hair and makeup, it's okay that you wear workout clothes every day because at least you still look a little bit put together. Right? how everyone else feels. Well, okay, that was super quick and looks so much better. I honestly can't get over how smooth this is going down. I love this new straightener. It is a game changer. I'm not just saying that because I would never want to encourage people to spend this much money on something, but I feel like if you're going to use it all the time or you're just a mom or someone, I'll try to push this down more so you guys can see. Someone that's in a hurry. Let me push fix this video. Come on, Cal. I can't do this with my tripod right now. Now you're just going to stare at my floor. Um, if you're someone that's in a hurry that just needs to whip through and do it, this is phenomenal. I'm super impressed. Um, what I need to learn how to do, I wish I could do, is curl my hair with a flat iron. Um, we'll see if I ever get that perfected. I don't have to, 
I don't have a ton of time to just sit down and play with hair stuff and makeup and but it's so crazy. I feel like every time I go to get my hair or makeup professionally done, scoot back so you can see me. Um, I'm like so excited with how I look and I'm, then I just feel bad. Like, wow, I could, I could be such a better version of myself every day if I knew how to do this stuff. I wish I went to beauty school or <laughs> which town of Danville had classes so I could take beauty classes and learn how to curl my hair and do my makeup so I could just be the best me every day okay I think I pretty much got all of it I don't know maybe up here regardless it's 10 times better than what it looks like when I try and use my cheese straightener and that thing is going in the trash today I mean I've had it for five or six years now too and when you hold the chi one I feel like the handle and everything gets hot and just burned your hand while you're holding it this thing is a dream Wow, guys, I know all the, all the men and so many guys watch my videos, but they're probably just like, wow, this is super exciting. But if you are a gentleman and you have a special lady in your life, maybe you should put the GHD Platinum Plus on a little reminder. You could buy him a gift because it's a good one. Wow. Yep. I probably should have like put my hair half up, half down and done the bottom part and then the top, but. <laughs> oh well. This is how I'm doing it today. Okay. All my hair, you can see it now in front. Again, that cowlick is just, it is what it is. It just kind of sticks out back there. I think it looks so much better and that was so much easier to use. It heats up fast, it, um, you, you can straighten it super fast. I kind of want to try it one day where like I have had my hair in a braid or something and I can literally, um, if I've had my hair in a braid and then I can have it super kinked and then try it out. But I'm like, I love it. I love my hair. <laughs> Look at this straightener. Do I just turn it off? I don't know if you can press the button and turn it off because I can't figure that out right now. Maybe you just unplug it to turn it off. But anyways, this is it. Can you see that? GHD Platinum Plus comes in black or white. Um, it's the best straightener I've ever used. Um, okay, so next week we'll do videos on uh, JJ's Town of Danville activities and I will be looking a little better <laughs> just a little bit I can't promise a ton but um, I hope you guys liked this video if you did uh, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you guys next time bye